Hi friends, good evening. Welcome back to my channel Mugambiga Nursing Friends. In this video, again we can see the next set of questions from Oncology. Yesterday we saw the first 10 questions and today we can see the next 10 questions and its answers. We will see the question one by one. The first question, tumor cells that are completely undifferentiated is known as Options are option A hyperplasia, option B metaplasia, option C dysplasia, option D anaplasia. And the correct answer is option D anaplasia. Anaplasia means the tumor cells that are completely undifferentiated. It is called anaplasia. Second question, during the admission assessment of a client with advanced ovarian cancer, the nurse recognizes which symptoms as typical of the disease. And the options are option A, diarrhea, option B, hypermenorrhea, option C, abnormal bleeding, option D, abdominal distension. Here our question is client with advanced ovarian cancer and the nurse understand that which symptom is typical for this over in case or on this patient that is the question so here we have to know what are the clinical manifestations of over in cancer then we can easily answer the typical symptom of this over in cancer so we have to know the clinical manifestation it include abdominal distension urinary frequency abdominal distension is one of the typical symptom of this over in cancer so that is the answer over here option d abdominal distension and also we can see the other clinical manifestation include urinary frequency and urgency and also malnutrition and pain patient may experience pain because of urinary and bowel obstruction and constipation patient may have constipation as it is with dyspnea and also severe the pain will be more more and severe that are the clinical manifestations of ovarian cancer and also our option b is there hypermenorrhea abnormal bleeding hypermenorrhea means it's an abnormal bleeding this is also occur in uterine cancer but the typical symptom is abdominal distension option d is the correct answer diarrhea is is may or may not occur it is not related with ovarian cancer abnormal bleeding or hypermenorrhea can occur but the typical symptom is abdominal distension question number three patient with aids are higher risk of developing option a osteoma option b kaposi sarcoma option c melanoma option d none of this question is patient with aids are higher risk of developing Kaposi's sarcoma. Option B is the correct answer. This Kaposi's sarcoma mainly occur in a person with weak immune system and the cancer cells are mainly found in skin, mucous membrane and lining of the blood vessels and all. So it is mainly occur due to the low or weak immune system. It is mainly seen in a patient with acute immunodeficiency syndrome. Question number 4. Most common type of cancer of the breast is? Options are option A. Loba carcinoma. Option B. Ductal carcinoma. Option C. Segmental carcinoma. Option D. Lobular carcinoma. Uh, question is most common type of cancer of breast is ductal carcinoma. Option B is the correct answer. About 7 to 8 80 percentage of breast cancer is ductal carcinoma option b is the correct answer question number five arrayed sternberg cells are present in which type of carcinoma options are option a meningioma option b bladder cancer option c hodgkin's lymphoma option d ductal carcinoma and the correct answer is option c hodgkin's lymphoma Hodgkin's lymphoma means the cancer of lymphatic system. This red Stenberg cells are abnormal lymphocytic cells present in Hodgkin's lymphoma. And the correct answer is option C. 
Question number 6. The client with metastatic breast cancer is receiving tamoxifen. The nurse specifically monitors which laboratory value while the client is taking this medication. And the options are option A glucose level, option B calcium level, option C potassium level, option D prothrombin time. So the patient with breast cancer is taking tamoxifen. So while before administering the tamoxifen, what value should the nurse monitor that is the question so here this tamoxifen while administering this tamoxifen there is a chance of increasing the calcium cholesterol and triglyceride calcium cholesterol and triglyceride level so before initiating this therapy a complete blood count platelet count and serum calcium level should be assessed so here our answer is option b calcium level okay and the blood blood levels along with cholesterol triglyceride level should be monitored periodically during the therapy because there is a chance of increase cholesterol and triglyceride level so periodically it should be monitored and also nurses should monitor hypercalcemia while the, the administering the tamoxifen there is a, the signs and symptoms of this hypercalcemia also she should monitor the signs and symptoms include excessive urine output excessive thirst nausea vomiting constipation that all she should monitor during the therapy here our question answer is option b calcium Question number 7. The nurse is analyzing the laboratory result of a client with leukemia who has received a regimen of chemotherapy. Which laboratory value would the nurse specifically note as a result of the massive cell destruction that occurred from the chemotherapy? And the options are option A anemia, option B decreased platelets, option B increased uric acid level, option D decreased leukocyte count. Here our question is a nurse is analyzing or checking the laboratory value of a client with leukemia who is taking chemotherapy and specific point is which lab value does the nurse specifically not during the time of chemotherapy specifically she should not which laboratory value that is the question so here correct answer will come option b increase uric acid that is the correct answer we will see the reason hyperuricemia is especially common following the treatment of this leukemia and lymphoma because of this chemotherapy resulting in massive cell destruction due to that there is an increased uric acid level will be occur in the patient la, patient body and also option A, anemia. Anemia means hemoglobin count and platelet count and the leukocyte count. Everything she will notify. A question is specifically what count she will note. That is the question. So specifically she should focus on uric acid count of the patient. Option C is the correct answer. Question number 8. Pap smear is used to diagnose. Options are option A stomach cancer, option B ovarian cancer, option C cervical cancer, option D breast cancer. Pasmia is used to diagnose option C cervical cancer. And the next question. Question number 9. Tumor marker in cervical cancer is option A HCG, option B AFP, Option C, squamous cell carcinoma antigen. Option D, lactic dehydrogenase. Here question is, tumor maker in cervical cancer is. And the correct answer is option C, squamous cell carcinoma antigen is the correct answer. And this HCG is there. This is the tumor maker or it is used to diagnose blastic tumor. And the AFB that is alpha Phytoprotein. This is used as a tumor maker in germ cell tumor. And lactic dehydrogenase is there. This is a tumor maker in ovarian germ cell tumor. Here our question is tumor maker in cervical cancer is option C is the correct answer. 
Question number 10. Causative organism for cancer of cervix is. Options are option A. Human papilloma virus. Option B. Gonococcus. Option C. Nerseria. Option D. All of this. And the correct answer is option A. Human papilloma virus is the causative organism for cancer of cervix.